To access the EDI dashboard, first click on Integrations in the left-hand navigation pane, then click on EDI dashboard. This will bring you to the main page of your EDI dashboard, which will display a list of all of your EDI orders, and these will be grouped by retailer. At the top of your dashboard, you will see some headline numbers. You will see the number of open EDI orders, the number of new orders in the last 48 hours, and the number of completed orders in the last 7 days. All of these numbers provide a good indication of what is happening in your EDI space. On the left hand pane, you will see some tools which can help you filter your orders. The keyword search allows you to search for orders by keywords such as the order reference or the customer PO number. You can also search by date range. By default we will only display open orders, but by entering a specific date you can view all orders created within that date range. Underneath this you can also filter orders based on the retailer or the next action. If we head over to the middle of the screen, there are a number of different columns which provide details regarding each order. These colored fields on the right relate to specific EDI documents. What we have in the background is a specific workflow for each trading partner. And these fields let you know what stage each of these documents are at in the workflow. We have color coded every stage of the process. Green means it has been completed. Yellow means an action is required. Blue means an action will be required in the future. And red means urgent action is required. This usually happens when today's date has passed the start date of the order. Documents such as the ASN document are very time critical. Therefore these will require urgent action. We also have a gray not applicable field which means that this particular document does not apply to the workflow. If you wish to update any of your orders, you can do so by clicking on the customer PO field. And this will take you into the order. You can also bulk update orders by checking the tick boxes of the orders you would like to update. Or you can check this tick box up here. Then click on the bulk update button. When opening any of your orders, you will see a next action text at the top. This will tell you exactly what you need to do for these particular orders. And I can do this in bulk by selecting an option at the top of this column here. And hitting the save button. By default, we sort your orders based on the next action required. However, you can also group your orders by DC. We'll just flick back to the filtering by next action. On this order update screen, you will also see that we've color coded each area. This will give you clear insight into what is required for each workflow. From this screen, you also have the ability to bulk update certain fields by clicking the button at the top of each column. This is similar to what I showed you with the next action column. Let's say I wanted to add an SSCC number to all of the orders in this group. I would just need to click this update all button. And I'll select the single carton option. This will generate an SSCC number for all of the orders in this group. And I would go ahead and confirm these changes by clicking the save button at the bottom of the screen. If you hover over the cog icon of any order, you'll be able to do things such as view the admin screen of the sales order, print specific documents, or even view a log of the EDI files that have been sent or received. 
from this cog menu, you can also reset the status of the order. Let's say for example you have sent off the ASN, but you need to send this again for some reason. Then you could reset the status of this order to transfer ASN now. Then you can go ahead and save this, and this will reset the stage of this order to transfer ASN now, allowing you to resend that ASN file. This little speech bubble here will give you a summary of the items contained in the order. You can also click on the order reference to go into the actual sales order itself. Last but not least, we have this print all button at the top right of the screen. And this will allow you to print documents in bulk based upon the orders you have selected.